is built like a bodybuilding toddler. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Master Maid Apollo. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some nice artwork of Apollo. His name is Apollo. On this side of the box, we just have the uh, the rest of the picture. On this side of the box. Mega Series Apollo on the top of the box, Apollo on the bottom, nothing. On the back of the box, you have an image of Optimus Prime. And when you open up the uh, the front flap here, you get your obligatory product shots. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Master Maid Apollo, a.k.a. Omega Supreme. So, I know this figure has been out for a while now, and um, honestly, I don't know why I passed up on these. You know, I just recently rediscovered this line, and this is their line of uh, city formers and base formers. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I passed on them when they originally came out, and I don't know why, and I rediscovered them, and I fell in love with them, and now that I have some of them in hand... Yeah, these are really cool. <laughs> these are really, really cool. Don't know why I passed up on these before, but I love them now. I think these are so cool. And here we have Omega Supreme. But before we talk about Omega, let's talk about the little included bonus figure. You get a little uh, a little Optimus Prime. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> and it's just a, uh, a super deformed Optimus Prime. We're getting close here. You can see, pretty nicely done, a little head sculpt, a little bit of silver, you got silver for the smokestacks. Blue for the windshields, the windshields are also trimmed in silver, silver there for the front grille. Some nice paint apps on it. He's got his rifle there. There's the back. Um, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, you get some wiggly waggly. Um, it can only rotate a little bit because his shoulders just kind of get in the way. Arms can do a full 360, they can. Go in and out that far. You get bicep rotation. You get under 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Uh, legs can move forward only that far. Back that far. Out that far. You get a little bit of knee bend there. And his foot is on a ball joint. So it goes up, down. You get some tilt. And you also get rotation. And uh, just for a uh, quick little comparison. Here it is with a, uh, a Prime Master shell here. You can see, a little bit taller than the current Prime Master shells. So, just so you can get a sense of the size of it. And here it is with the base mode here. <laughs> it's adorable. It's just adorable. That's precious. That's just, that's just precious. That's so, so precious. But there you go. So now let's talk about Omega Supreme. First, we'll bring in the little, uh, the little tank here. <laughs> which is just made up of his big old head, and there's no hiding it there. It's just right visible. <laughs> it's seen to run. But, you know, <laughs> kind of has no choice, really. But, uh, you know, it's just a little, just big, bulky tank here. And you can see the treads have some nice molded detail. You do get a little bit of paint. You do get some uh, tampographed details on there. As well, there are little rolling wheels, so it, it rolls around decently, not super well, but it rolls around decently. Uh, the cannon itself can move up and down if you want it to. Um, it can also rotate, can do a full 360 if you need it to. It'll kind of bump into some stuff in the process, but it can, it can rotate. It, it can, it can. I swear to you, it can. There we go. It's rotating. It's rotating. Anyway. <laughs> well, you got that going on if you want to. You can extend this part forward if you want to. That's on a hinge. I mean, again, that's more for your robot mode feature, but you can kind of extend all this forward so that sticks out a little further. Hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. As always, your toy. Display it however you wish. Um, there is a light up feature, which is also really meant for robot mode. But if you push this button right here, you can see it does light up all this stuff back here as well as up front. But you know, you know, if you want the tank to be a little lit up, you can you can do that. You can do that if you want to. Hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do. But there you have the little tank. 
And now for the main component of Omega Supreme himself, we have the big rocket platform here, which looks quite, quite cool. Um, I, I really dig this. I'll just give you a little turn around here. Yes, you can kind of see all of what's going on. And it's pretty cool. Like, I really dig this. I really dig it. And um, holds together very well. Um, the rocket is actually pegged into the base here. And it's like, I mean, I could pick this whole thing up by the rocket. And it stays together. So this holds together quite, quite solidly. But, um, you yeah, know, let's just bring it in here. So we can take a look at some of the details here. Got a ramp up front. You got some tampograph details there. All around. Very cool. You got these arms right here, which is on a ball joint. This section's on a ball joint. And these sections up here. Can rotate if you need them to. Can also move up and down. And let's take a look at the back here. It's got the section which is just made up of the uh, robot mode arms. But still, works out pretty well. And you have these sections up here, which are also on ball joints. So you can kind of adjust those. You know, kind of have those positioned however you wish. Of course, you can remove the rocket itself, which again is pegged in quite securely. There you got the little rocket, <laughs> little stumpy rocket, again with some tampographed details there. With the big claw, and you got some orange down there. Pretty cool. Just ready to whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> Let me just peg this back on. You can see the peg just goes right up in there. Let me just peg this back on. Just so I can. Whoops. <laughs> hey. 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 I just pegs him back there. There you go. It does hold together. I just I just knocked it loose there. That was my fault. That was my bad. That was my bad. And there you go. So uh, just to give you a sense of the size of this, uh, here it is with Power of the Primes Deluxe Jazz. So there you can get a a sense of how it scales there with a current Deluxe. So there you have that. And uh, since this doesn't have uh, a track that goes around it, I guess it's, you know, I, I figure it's only appropriate to do the comparison this way with uh, G1 Omega Supreme. <laughs> because it's, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's pressure. So my God, pressure. Whoosh. Get over here. So there you have the base mode for Apollo. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So let us remove the rocket here and we'll just put that. Come on. Come here. Give me. Give me. Thank you. Thank you. We'll just put that off to the side for now. We'll take the tank and put that off to the side for now. And we will now focus on all of this right here. Now, of course, being an Omega Supreme, it parts forms. What parts for? Shh. That's just what Omega Supreme does. That's just what he does. That's his nature. It's his nature. <laughs> so first thing we need to do is just take this whole back section here and just unpeg it. And we're going to take this section right here and just unpeg that. It just goes on that peg right there. We'll put that off to the side and we'll put this off to the side and we will focus on this section right here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take uh, these bits right here. We're going to rotate around, bring it down flush, take this section here, bring it down flush. And then what you're going to do here is just push this down until it clicks into place like that. And it's a cool little spring loaded feature. So when you're going back into base mode, you just push it down and it just springs back up. So that's, that's a cool little feature right there. You know, it's simple, but it's effective and I like it. So do the same thing on your side. Just bring that around, bring it down, bring this down, push that down to lock it into place. Then you just take these yellow sections right here and you just rotate them and bring them down to double hinge and that will form his kneecaps. 
bring that around and in. You take this ramp here and that just swings underneath like so and that fills in the crotchial region. And then you take his feet and you just bring them up, bring it up. And then for the legs, you just rotate them out, bring them forward, bring it down, rotate it up, bring it forward, bring it down. And there you have the lower body all done. So now we'll move on to the upper body. And for the upper body, you just want to take the shoulders here, just align them properly. You just want to extend the arms there. You want to rotate it at the bicep. And you also want to rotate the hand so everything is oriented properly here. Yes, he does have proper hands and we'll get to that in a bit. Bring the arm down, unfold the arm, rotate, bring it down, again rotate the hand so everything's oriented properly, and we got that done. And then you want to take this section right here, these bits will just swing around and fold down, swing around, fold down, these sections right here you're just going to fold in like so, and then just bring them around like that, fold it in, and bring it around. Then you can swing them out, and you can bring them down at this big hinge right here. You can angle those however you wish. And there you got Omega's wings, and these will just plug right into his back, right there, like so. And then you just take the lower body, and you plug it into the upper body right there. Just line all that up, plug it on, and there you got that. So now we will bring in the rocket here. And what you're going to do is just split it right down the middle. You don't want that section to come off. You want this section to come off. This should not come off. You want to keep this on. We're not ready for that feature yet. <laughs> so split the rocket in half here. And you want to take these sections here and you want to slide them up. So they click into place and you're going to take this section here and you got the four posts, you got four ports and you just slide that up, that pig in right there. And then you take the other side right here, oh, slide this up first, like that, so that clicks into place. And you just take this, slide that up, take it on. And there you have nuts right there. And last but not least, we bring in the tank, and you just take the treads, and they will just fold down on a double hinge there. And you turn the head around, you take the barrel of the cannon here, and that just slides in. And what happens here is, this back panel is spring-loaded, so you just open this up, and you just drop the tank in there, close it up, and that does hold it into place very securely and there you have Apollo aka Omega Supreme in his robot mode and he looks so cool and so adorable just adorably menacing and I absolutely I love it I love it so much and as you can see it's that super deformed aesthetic and that may not vibe with everybody I understand that but you know me personally I really dig it I just that's just so cool. That's so cool to me. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. There it is. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> cool looking face sculpt. You can just open the section up if you want to get a better look at his face there. Pretty nice. I mean, it's a, it's a simple face sculpt. And it's granted, you know, Mega Supreme did have a pretty simple looking face, so <laughs> not a whole lot to talk about there, but still pretty cool. And I like that you can pull that visor up and down. And just going uh, down the body here, you can just see the details. Again, you have some more of those little tampograph details going throughout. You got some yellow up in here, you got some silvers, some dark grays, got some oranges right there. Big knee pads, his big old feet. <laughs> Not really big old feet, his feet are kind of stumpy actually, but they work, they, they, they work as far as the aesthetic of uh, 
<laughs> of this figure goes. You got the caution stripes there on the side. On the back, you got some pretty nice details going on there. This little winged backpack, which I do quite dig. Again, just the big old claws. This, hey, you stay. And his big old claws. And his other big old hand. <laughs> the big old cannon hand. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you do get your wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly head. Can do a full 360, can look up a good ways, can look down a bit. Can you have your side to side movements? Uh, the shoulders. Can do a full 360, you know, of course you have to get the wings out of the way, but the arms can do a full 360 on a nice ratchet. Arms can go in and out again on a nice ratchet. You got ratcheted bicep rotation. You got a ratcheted elbow with over 90 degrees of bend. It does have waist rotation. As far as the legs go, why does this bit keep coming undone? You stop. You, you stop. I should hold on a lot better. There we go. It's being temperamental for some reason. Anyway. Uh, where were we? Oh yes, the legs can move forward that far, can move back that far, outward that far. You do get thigh rotation. You do get a double jointed knee. So you get full range of movement there at the knee, and if you don't like that gap there, you can move the knee pad up to kind of fill that in, and it reveals some detailing there. So you get nice full range of movement there on the knees, which is quite nice. And the feet can move up, they can move down. You got full amounts of tiltage due to transformation, and a little bit of rotation there. Now let's talk about some gimmicks here because this toy does have some gimmicks. You do have light up features. Uh, one that we showed off already was the, uh, the head light up. And again, the button is right back here. The battery compartment is right in here. It takes two LR44s and you just push the button on his back and his eyes will light up a nice bright red there. Pull that back, maybe you can see it a bit better. There you go. His eyes do glow a nice bright red. And if you rotate this yellow section here on the side of his head on either side, he will uh he will go brrr, brrr. <laughs> It amuses me. Brrr. He just he gets angry. He gets brrr, brrr. I don't want to eat my broccoli. No! 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 No. Anyway, you can do that if you want to. <laughs> and if we come down here, he has a button right here on his chest. You push that, and his chest will light up a nice bright red. Um, now the battery compartment for the chest light is right under here. You just undo this screw and this section pops out and you pop the battery right in there. Um, the battery for the chest light is a CR2032. It takes one of those. So you just pop that in there and that's how you get the chest to light up. Now, I, I remember when I reviewed the uh, Mega Action Series Megatron and talked about, well, you have to buy the batteries yourself, and it also took those uh, button cell batteries. Somebody in the comments was like, oh, yeah, because, you know, watch batteries are so cheap. Well, actually, yeah, if you look in the right place, you can get them very cheap. Um, If you go to, you know, Rite Aid or Target or one of those places, they'll charge you like seven bucks for one battery. But if you go on Amazon, you can get them really cheap. I got an eight pack of 2032s for $6 and you can get a 15 pack of LR44s also for $6. So if you look in the right place, yes, you can get button cell batteries quite cheap. Yeah, it would be great if the batteries were included, but you know, it is what it is. If you buy toys, you should be no stranger to having to buy batteries for them. But anyway, you get those cool little light up features here. Let me just turn it off for now, just so I don't drain the batteries. And another gimmick that we, oh, one thing else to talk about with the, uh, as far as articulation goes, is you can, you know, you could move his 
the wings around. They are on joints right here. You can, you know, take them and angle them back if you want to. You can bring them down further. You can bring them up all the way. You can do what you want with those wings there. So the wings do have some posability as well. So anyway, let's continue on with the gimmickry. And you can actually give him a pretty uh, cool weapon here. Um, oh, also, let's talk some more about articulation because there's other things that I've just kind of been glossing over. Um, little claws here, or just on a hinge here and a hinge here. So you can get pretty good grabby, grabby, clawy, clawy right there. Ah, my thumb! <laughs> See? Ah, ha, <laughs> ha. Ah. Got a grip too, it's got a grip, anyway. Okay, so now I think we're done with the articulation. Okay, now let's talk about the other gimmickry here. So you can give him a pretty cool weapon and what you need to do here to make this happen is you want to detach these sections right here. You don't want to detach the upper section like you do for, uh, for base mode. You want to detach this section right here. And how that works is there's this little gray ring that goes around, not the dark gray ring, you have the lighter gray ring and this will slide over I always forget which side it goes to. There you go. You want to slide it over to the side like that, and that will undo this section here. And you can remove that. And underneath that, he does have actual proper hands, which is pretty cool. So let's talk some more about articulation. <laughs> so as far as the hands go, uh, the thumb is on a hinge at the base, so it can move up and down. It's also on a hinge right there, so the thumb can move up and down. And you also have a hinge right there. Um, each finger is on a ball joint at the base, as well as a hinge in the center there. And the wrist itself is on a ball joint, so you get your wiggly waggly. So you can get a little bit of splay there out of the fingers since they are on ball joints. So anyway, you got that going on. So we removed the one section here, so now we'll remove the other section. Again, you just take this gray ring. I always forget which way to go. Which way are we going? We're going this way. There we go. So you just rotate out to the side, which will allow this to come off like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two sections here and just link them together and then take the gray rings here and just slide them over and that will lock each side into place like so. You want to take these sections here and just bring them in, just fold them all the way in so they meet in the middle like that. And you want to take these panels here and they will come down and out. You don't want to bring them all the way down. You can if you want to, but for the instructions, you just kind of want to leave them kind of flared out. Just makes it look cooler. But again, if you just want them sitting flush, hey, totally up to you as always. Your toy. Display it however you wish. So you just bring these out, bring these out, and this yellow section right here, you want to unpeg. Um, the instructions don't say what to do with this after you've removed it. I mean, granted, you can leave it on here if you want to, but, you know, there's nothing really you can do with this. The only thing I found to do with it is you can take it and just kind of plug it in up here on his back. The best way I found to store it, if you absolutely have to store it somewhere, the best best thing I found to do with it. The instructions don't say anything about it, but anyway. Once we've done that, we have this going on, so that's all done. So now we come back here to the wings, and you want to take this bottom section of the wing here and just pull it down, like so. And then you just want to take the two halves and plug them together. Make sure those pegs are on the same side here. And uh, which way are we going? We're going this way. And you just want to just rotate these sections down. Whichever hand you're going to put it in, you want to make sure that these bits are on the, you know, on the back of the handle here. So just depending on which side you want to holding it, just make sure you have these oriented properly. And once you do that, we just take the uh, this section right here, and no, nope, I'm plugging it into this section. I got confused. I got a little confused there. There we go. You want to plug it into this port right here, and that will just plug in like so, and that makes for a big old hammer, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and we can take that 
and plug it into his hand. Unfortunately, on mine, uh, on my copy of this toy, like this thumb, as you can see, that hinge, that hinge is loose. He has a loose thumb there. That sucks. I could probably fix that, but ah. it is what it is. But anyway, you can use either of the posts. I prefer to use the bottom one. And it just pegs right into his hand. And he does hold it quite securely. As you can see, he can hold it up. He can support the weight of it because the ratchets in his shoulders are quite snug. So he can definitely support the weight of this giant hammer. So that's pretty cool. You can give him a big old, a big old battle hammer. I like that. I like that very much. I think that's really cool. I think that's really, really cool there. <laughs> so there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with Power of the Primes Deluxe Jazz. So you can see how he scales there with a current deluxe. And here he is with Voyager Hunger. Just so you can see, he is a bit taller than a current Voyager. Definitely bulkier. So, you know, pretty much like a, a, a slightly bigger Voyager size. And here he is with G1 Omega Supreme because... It's pressure, supremely pressure. And last but not least, here he is with a little Optimus Prime. There you go. <laughs> That's just adorable. That is just so stinking adorable. So there you have Master Maid's Apollo, um, a very cool figure. I, I am so happy that I rediscovered this line after initially passing on it and totally forgetting about it. I'm so glad I rediscovered this line. Um, because I absolutely love it. I, I love this figure. Um, I got this guy. I also got their Metroplex. And I also got their Scorponok. I'm trying to track down their Triptychon because it's kind of sold out everywhere. So I'm trying to track down a Triptychon. But yeah, um, I've fallen in love with these. Um, very well done. Very good quality. They're just nice, solid, sturdy. I just got the one loose thumb joint on mine. But that's fine. I can fix that. And there's also die cast in this figure as well, so it has a good amount of heft to it. If you've never messed with one of these and you get the chance to, you'll be surprised when you pick this up that it has some legit weight to it. It's actually quite a hefty figure as well. So yeah, all around, very nicely done. I, I love it. I love it. I'm all in on this. And uh, they just recently put up pre-orders for their uh, Fortress Maximus, and I did put down a pre-order for it, so I will be reviewing that <laughs> when that comes out because I've, I've fallen in love with this line. I love these guys. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Master Maid's other products, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Master Maid Apollo, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pull in your face. Omega oh Supreme! We need your help! Uh, I don't really feel like it right now. What? But, but, but we need your help. What? What if I said please? What if I said no? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's your prerogative. You're, you are quite large, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. Well, I am a prime, so technically you, you, you should follow me. Eh, uh, not today. Check back with me tomorrow. Check back with you tomorrow? Okay, um, I, I guess I can do that if we're all, uh... If we're all alive tomorrow, I'll, um, I'll, I'll check back with you, so, uh, I, um, okay, o okay. Are you sure today's not good? Today's not, no? No, okay, okay. You're not mad at me or anything, are you? Are, are, you're, you're not even looking at me anymore, okay, that, oh, okay, okay. <laughs>